welcome back to Let's Clean Power Wash Simulator. I'm Burning Dog Face, and of course we're working on that Thunderhawk over yonder. And uh, I'd say it's going pretty well so far, even though that number isn't very encouraging. Yes, I did move the, uh, the scaffolding over here so I can take that uh, frame. Give it a nice framing for the beginning of the episode. <laughs> uh, and did that without turning, I like that. I should have put that closer to the actual machine. I didn't even think I'd be able to put it out there off, off of the floor here. I believe I was going to work on the, uh, the central engine back here. That should push us past, uh, 9%, certainly. Shout out to Justin Jones, who says, I have a Contemptor Dreadnought with magnetized arms slash weapons. It's handy if I want to equip him with a Carey's Pattern Assault Cannon in one game, or a Gravis Laz Cannon in another. In another. In the context of the Warhammer 40k universe, specifically during the Great Crusade, the Emperor was the least wrong and the best hope for humanity. Again, keep in mind that this is within the context of the narrative established for that universe. Uh, the Emperor definitely makes some catastrophic mistakes. One, destabil uh, dis <laughs> de establishing the Legiones Astartes Librarius project during the Council of Nikea leaving the Imperium wide open to the predations of chaos. I believe that was when he banned the use of psychic powers and magic, and then he found out how powerful they are, uh, the, uh, the chaos, you know, chaos can be when using those things, and says, okay, maybe psychic powers aren't so bad after all. Uh, two, not informing his sons of the real threat to humanity, i.e. chaos. He didn't have to tell them everything, but he could have provided enough context to inform them of the danger. Three, not putting down the... 17th Legion, when it became clear that Lorgar Aurelian wasn't going to do what was expected of him. Ooh, Lorgar, I've heard that name. That guy is terrible. Also because he openly defied the Emperor's decrees concerning religion. I think it's his fault that the Imperial cult exists. Like, the reason the Emperor was mad at him was that he kept worshipping the Emperor as a god. And now, ironically, Lorgar's religion is everywhere. Um, for not briefing his sons with the Webway Project, which is a very specific thing, but it did have bad consequences. Uh, my point is that the Emperor got things wrong, proving his innate humanity. And then adds, uh, as a final note, idiots that try to Photoshop their favorite politicians to resemble the Emperor are either lone edgelords, or they know next to nothing about the setting, i.e. they are bad actors. Honestly, I can't really argue with that. feeling. The real trick is always getting a different angle on it. I really struggled with that at first because I would just hose something down from one angle and then assume it was pretty good from every angle. Honestly, I'm not sure this game would actually be possible if it were not for the, you know, the, the dirt highlighting. Some of that shit is barely even visible to the naked eye. I mean, if it's all caked on like this, that's fine. But if I miss a tiny spot, you know, like this one here, look at that. Look at how much easier it is to see. Like these dots over here, I can't even see those normally. Well, I can see them if I lean real far forward, but you know.
You know, I seem to remember hearing once that the lore was that, uh... The four Chaos Gods in Warhammer Fantasy and the four Chaos Gods in Warhammer 40k are the same entities. Like there's only one warp. And all the universes connect to it. But that does make me wonder how they're going to, you know, reconcile that with the idea that in one of the universes, Slanesh is out of commission. Here's a fun and useless tidbit. The, uh... This is a big engine. The Eldar regularly refer to humans as Monkai. K-E-I-T-H. And, uh, this really seems like they're just calling us monkeys. Like they're insulting us for, you know, not being as evolved as we think. Turns out that's not the case. I only learned that recently. Apparently, according to the lore, there was another race, like, eons ago, I, don't, I think before humanity even rose up, that were actually called the Mongkai. And, uh... I suppose I could just stick a step stool there. I think I had one. It seems kind of silly to use a step stool in this job, but... Hey, little buddy. I missed you in that last job. It'd be really funny if, like, the 90 seconds after you set it down, it starts walking again. Just marching around at random. Praise the Emperor! Oh, that pipe. Hmm. Well, that didn't help either. Much. Let's try thinking out of the box. Damn, that almost worked. pointed the thing at a certain angle, held the button down, and jumped up and down so it happened to pass back and forth across the pipe I wanted to clean off. For Justin's sake. Um... Yes, I was mentioning the Monkai, and the thing about them was that they were apparently dumb as mud and prone to, uh, getting ahead of themselves through reckless abandon and, uh, overconfidence. And, you know, the Eldar try to get them to calm the fuck down and, you know, think things through before they do stuff. And this ultimately didn't work. And I don't actually remember if they even specified what it was. But it, it, ultimately, the, uh, the Monkai did something so stupid, and so reckless, and so dangerous, that it even threatened the Eldar, like, as a species. At which point they said, we tried to tell them, probably in a smug, superior way, but, uh, yeah, we tried to tell them, fuck those guys, and they 
basically wiped them out of existence and started using them as a uh, cautionary tale. So originally they used the term Mongkai whenever they encountered any alien race that was behaving in a short-sighted and uh, reckless way. And then they met us. And in their eyes, humans were so singularly, you know, ass-headed, so spectacularly bad at thinking things through, that over time the Mongkai term has come to refer specifically and only to humans. I like that. Giant engine caked in crud. way to turn when I'm staring straight up. Oh, right, I hit up because, you know, I would hit forward normally, yeah. Okay. Uh, you know what? There. No, thank God. stripe right here. Oh, drat. This thing here is also part of the central engine, apparently. to me that it really is residue from Nurgleite demons, we should almost certainly cleanse this entire room. I'll get myself some new lungs. Oh.
that also looks like it. Wait for it. I like that it actually stops strobing of whatever you've selected when you start spraying or using the, uh, the highlight, so that doesn't get in the way. of more of those things. Uh, where did I put that? Maybe it really did wander off. I thought I left it in here. Oh, there you are. How did I not see that? bugging me even if that isn't part of the engine. <laughs> Almost full. Oh. Oh. Jeez. Well, there is your problem.
Oh boy. That took more doing than I expected. But hey, the thing can almost take off. This big old fat exhaust in the back. I feel like surely I'd have to scrub harder than this to get all of that blackness off. What does it just say? It says, no, it doesn't say soot, it just says grime, but you know. Where did I leave that ladder? There it is. I can't move it to anywhere else while I'm standing here. Which isn't great because it's still on this thing. Positioning could be better, but I can do this. Tiny, tiny spot of clean right there. Strange. Almost like the Nurgle Lights missed a spot. Oh, yes, of course, over here. Huh. Uh, tall one, thank you. I suppose I can fit it. No, obviously not.
missing something here. No, it's just the part I thought it was. Oh, I didn't do a very good job down here. these different angles to consider. Come on, I'm so close to this. if it could be seen from behind. I didn't think of that. I'll just move that off of the engine because it seems like a very poor place to place it. Yes, let's put it here in one of these highly explosive missiles. Sure. Okay. Oh boy, it sure doesn't look like much. We're only 14% done, but I have made progress. I took out all the feet. I took out both of these legs. Everything is clean now. Well, I need to get the landing wells themselves and... Then will be the fun job of working on the hull. And the weapons. But we will get there. I'm Burning Dogface, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Clean Power Wash Simulator. When we get to work on the rest of this Thunderhawk. Till then, have yourselves a great day, Burning Dog fans. Later!